So guys, what is up? This is Jaws. Today I'm making another video about my bearded dragon spike. I'm not gonna take him out of his terrarium or give him any of his hornworms. I'm just gonna show off his new terrarium, the, the new setup on the terrarium. Now his food goes here. And he still has this it's in the same area. Then they got him this little cactus. There's his water bowl. There's his cave, and there's his log on top of it, and there he is. Then there's also his little hammock here. And he needs to eat, obviously. He needs to place his mask under his heat lamp up there. Which is his log, then he needs a little area for shade, cave, and sometimes he uses that, um, he usually climbs up on the log though. He also, this is one thirsty beer, he needs some water, so I never see him drinking, I guess he absorbs. Then he needs his UVB light, which probably is going to light up this area. He needs some decorations to make him feel like he's at home with the cactus there. Don't, don't give them sand yet, unless they're probably like, I don't know, 15 inches, I guess? Yeah, 15 or 16 inches, I guess. So, 16 inches is when they can have super moons. Also, so, for, I like to give them echo carpet. That's the calcium dust you dust the crickets in. And... And you probably want a screen lid for these locks. This is a 20 gallon terrarium. He's probably gonna have this for a few years till he grows up in them. Then he'll be spending probably the rest of his life in a 40 gallon. Although he might actually move to a 60 sometime. Or possibly an 80 gallon. There's his little face. Be very gentle in handling this. I have abilities like this. They're very delicate. But in my opinion, they're the best pet you can have. And there he is. And there he was, opening his little mouth. That was so cute. That's how you set up his terrarium. Also, you should probably have a little workspace here. Taking care of the playground, calcium dust, crickets, hornworms, wax worms, and mealworms are in the fridge. This is how I know what he eats. This is a book. This is for spraying the inside of his terrarium when he's shedding. And this is for pulling out the big hornworms, the tweezers, because if they're too big, then Spike might not be able to eat them if they're too big, unless you hold them in the... But if you hold the tweezers, it's easier to pull them out. I still do use my bare hand sometimes to grab them out. But let's say it's really big and squirmy. Let's say it's a really squirmy one or a really big one or something like that. Use the tweezers. But if it's not, just use your bare hands. Don't be scared. Then the crickets, the tubes, pull them out, put them in the bag, put some dust in the bag, dump them in, that's where you get all that dust in the bottom. Eventually you're going to need to clean that off. Oh, spiky! They also have fruits and veggies. I gave them grapes, carrots, some of the buffet blend, and some romaine lettuce. This is a really healthy diet for Spike. Which is my bearded dragon. And that's how you take care of your bearded dragon. So, yeah, bye.